This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Christmas Eve, December 24th, 2009. James Spann here, quite frankly, did not plan on doing one of these today, but weather is so active. We have so many people asking questions. I have to brief myself anyway. Why not? I mean, the Heil PR40 is sitting right in front of me, so let's just knock this thing out. We'll look at it together. Uh, so let's go right to the Skycam shots first off. That's the view coming from uh, Birmingham, top of the Daniel Building. Rain is falling. Very windy. Winds are increasing with a pressure gradient winds. Pretty much the same view there from Gadsden up in northeast Alabama. The good thing, it's awfully cool and stable. I, I mean, odds of getting any surface-based instability up here tonight are slim and none. And there's a look at the uh, Greenwood, Mississippi sky cam over in the Delta. We wonder if we might see a few snowflakes on that thing late tonight. All right, there's a look at the uh, impressive storm. And by golly, it is so farther south than the models had suggested. You know, uh, just everything is way south. Accordingly, the big blizzard is down south. Uh, the heavy rain and strong storms are uh, in play on the Gulf Coast. Uh, look at the uh, regional radar at... Uh, about 1.15 this afternoon. That rain over Alabama, just a big mass of light to moderate rain, mainly over the eastern side of the state. And, of course, what we are watching is the band of convection in south Mississippi. And you can't help but look at what's happening back there in Oklahoma and Texas. That, my friends, is basically a blizzard. That's the one that the models had portrayed for Omaha, Nebraska, Des Moines, Iowa, places like that. Forget about it. I mean, it, it, it just can't handle this pattern. The pattern was screaming for a southern-type snowstorm this week, and by golly, there it is. Look at some of these images taken by some of our uh, sky watchers that are traveling out in uh, Texas and Oklahoma. That's what it looks like out there this afternoon. And don't you know those kids are pumped? Christmas Eve and the snow coming down. And there are a lot of traffic accidents out there. In fact, part of uh, Interstate 40 is shut down now near Oklahoma City, so it's awfully messy. And look at that. There's your surface low. Uh, really a little north of uh, Texarkana, 994 millibars. The models just, what, yesterday had that thing up there at Kansas City. And look at the pressure gradient over Alabama. That's my biggest concern for like, the gradient winds, not really the thunderstorms. Uh, the winds will be in the 20 to 40 mile per hour bracket, gusting to 50 at times, mainly on the ridge tops, and that's enough to bring down trees and power lines. So just be aware you might want to have... Uh, your emergency lighting ready for your family gatherings tonight. And be sure you got those Christmas decorations tied down so they don't blow all the way to Little Rock. Woo, doggies. How about a Christmas Eve storm that's disrupting much of the nation? Uh, we got everything there. Blizzard warnings up from Oklahoma City down to Wichita Falls, Texas. Also a blizzard warning up parts of South Dakota. Uh, winter storm warnings up from uh, Abilene, Texas to Duluth, Minnesota. Uh, we've got a tornado watch in Mississippi. Uh, flash flood watches for North Alabama. High wind warnings. Ice storm warnings for parts of Virginia and North Carolina. I mean, I, I could sit here and talk about that map for all day. And again, if you're traveling, just pick out your destination. Of course, odds are you're traveling right now and, and or, or you're already there because we're almost at Christmas time. There's a... Uh, there's current watch box coming from uh, SPC. That's until 6 o'clock. That includes uh, most of central and south Mississippi and extreme southwest Alabama. And they put up this mesoscale update a few minutes ago. Uh, note the warm front is down there still below Biloxi and Gulfport. So uh, thunderstorms are going to be elevated up here. We just don't see any instability. The biggest problem is going to be these gradient winds. And there's the uh, convective outlook for today and tonight. A moderate risk for New Orleans, Baton Rouge. Gulfport, Natchez, Mississippi, in a slight risk uh, for areas south of the line from near Tuscaloosa to Columbiana to Roanoke. They did pull that a bit northward earlier this morning. Snow outlook for today, heaviest snow from near Abilene, Texas, up to uh, Duluth, Minnesota. And tomorrow, Christmas Day, is where the snow will be coming down up north. Total precip for the next five days, valid through Tuesday morning at 6 o'clock. Uh, one to two inches here, of course, that will be all tonight. And uh, heaviest northwest of here. We'll take a look at the NAM. This is kind of a higher resolution. Well, I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's look at the uh, RPM. I have pulled that up so we can watch it together. Boy, we talk about a classic storm here. Look at that thing. The uh, surface low uh, moves from near Texarkana almost due north up through uh, Missouri. And you can see the big snows on the west side, the big rains on the east side. 
And, of course, you look down there in Alabama and you see those little patches of blue uh, tomorrow morning. That means the chance of a few snow flurries should not amount to much, but somebody might get a dusting in there. But, uh, boy, what a storm right before Christmas. Incredible. All right, now the NAM. This is uh, 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Uh, surface low is north of St. Louis. These, the freeze line, zero-degree line Celsius at 850, that's about 5,000 feet, is near Birmingham, and that would suggest it will be snowing tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock in Muscle Shoals and Hamilton. Uh, noon, maybe a few flurries lingering. The secondary low is forming over South Carolina. And Sunday, we're dry and cold. But it will be fun to wake up tomorrow morning just to see if we have snowflakes around here. All right, next week, Monday, look at that now. A short wave, maybe producing some light rain down to the south. Don't think that'll be much. Tuesday, we're dry. Wednesday, now looks dry. Thursday, here comes the next wave. And again, that's suggesting maybe a chance of some light rain. And then December the 20, 31st, this is uh, New Year's Eve. The system shunted down to the south, but the look at New Year's Day. This is January 1. Pretty good-looking Vortmax there, and that's going to spin up a big storm coming out of the Gulf. And just understand, somewhere in there late next week, whether it's New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, this is New Year's Day at 6 o'clock, there could be a winter storm-type threat for us. I don't know where or how. Uh, obviously, the models are struggling one day in advance. They're going to really struggle seven days in advance. The idea is there. And look at the uh, third. Here comes another one, January 3rd, another wintry weather threat. If this pans out, of course, we don't know specifics into the forecast on the 9th. Problematic. Big ridge pumping up over Canada, tapping the cold air, active southern stream, big upper low uh, down there southeast of Phoenix. And again, it just looks like we're going to have all kind of potential for mischief here in the weather office in the weeks ahead. And you can bet we will be watching. All right. That's it for the weather extreme video today. Again, my next video, unless I do one tomorrow, which I probably won't. My next one will be. Sometime in 2010, I'm taking next week off. Brian Peters will take care of the videos. The blog will always be updated with fresh information. That's alabamawx.com. So on behalf of our television family here, the blog family, my personal family, have a wonderful, meaningful, peaceful, and Merry Christmas this year. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faith. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.